Okay, here we go. First we're going to apply some solder paste. Okay, I've got solder paste on the two capacitor pads. Now I'm going to do it on the pads for the two ICs. I'm going to put on more solder paste than I did last time. I think I didn't have enough last time. side. That might have been too much solder paste. Let's try a little bit less solder paste on the other chip. Okay, almost done. Okay, I had more solder paste on the side of the chip away from the PCB serial number. So we'll check that later and see how that one comes out <clears throat> relative to the other one. Okay. Let's see. First let's place the two capacitors using tweezers. truth we're going to try placing these chips and have a half millimeter pin spacing. So we'll grab one off of the tray. Oops, and turn it around so that it is oriented correctly. And we'll just kind of lay it down and, and Scoot it more or less into orientation, into place. I'm not going to obsess over getting the alignment exactly right. I'm going to try to get it pretty close. I think that looks pretty good. Let's do one more.
whatever you can. Hmm. wasn't quite, whoops, it's still not really sticking on one side. Chip is just kind of loose there. Alright, now I'm going to just pick the whole thing up with my hands. And carefully place it into this aluminum pie plate. This is super high tech stuff here. And hope that I didn't totally bump everything out of alignment as I did that. Let's just kind of, well, I can't see a damn thing, so. Let's just assume that it is still okay. Actually, I think it's still okay. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the heat, I'm going to turn on the burner and use the IR temperature thermometer to measure the temperature in the center of the PCB. I'm going to turn on the hot plate and keep it on until the temperature in the center of the PCB says about 100 degrees centigrade. All right, here we go, turning on now. Okay, 22, 23 degrees, 24. Boy, this is slow. Maybe this aluminum pie plate was not a good idea, 25. Six. Let me just check some other areas, but it's still the left and right of the PCB to see if there are significantly different temperatures. No, I'm not seeing a huge fluctuation or a huge difference in temperature across different parts of the board. Okay, we're at 32 in the center. Boy, this is really slow. 33. just realized I don't have gloves to pull the aluminum pie plate off when I'm done. So we'll see what happens. Boy, this is slow. 41. Forty-two. Come on. Let's see, the left side actually reads closer to like fifty. Yeah, okay, the center, 46 degrees. <laughs> 51, 54. Nope, just went back down. 49, 50, 56. 48, 44. Why is my temperature going down? 43, 51. 57. Well, I was going to try to quickly heat it up to about 100 to 150 degrees C and then let it soak for a few minutes, but boy, it is heating up so slowly that maybe I ought to just crank it all the way up to soldering temperature. Boy, this is slow. I think that the the pie plate is not very flat and the PCB is not sitting flat on it. In fact, I can see that the center of the PCB is floating like two millimeters above the pie plate. So it's not even in contact with the pie plate. All right, 73. Still relatively decent 
um, relatively minimal amounts of difference in temperature across different areas of the PCB. This is going to take all day. 79 82 Just jumping all around 90 87 81 Something's starting to smoke here too It's not a good sign uh, Oh wait, it's 120 over on the left of the PCB And now we're at 100, okay, we're at 110 Okay, so now I'm going to turn the heat off for a moment Maybe this is pointless and stupid, um, but it was a little over 100 or around 100, 110 Celsius. And I'm going to turn this light so I can see a little bit better. The solder definitely has not melted yet. What do we got? So remember, the burner's off now. I see 105. 99 over 111, 141 over on this side. I think that side is making better contact with the pie plate. About 120 in the center now. So it's still heating up even though the burner is off. 137 on the left, 125 in the middle, 117, 122. I'm getting bored of this. Let's just turn it back on and melt some solder and hope that something happens. Uh, but you know what? This is probably a super bad idea. I'm going to scoot the PCB a little bit more towards the center. Oh my god, this thing is so... the whole plate is like bowed. Alright, this pie plate idea I think is a giant failure. But anyway... Yeah, the pie plate is not making level contact with the burner. The PCB is not making level contact with the pie plate, so... I wonder this whole thing isn't working too well. <laughs> In fact, the, yeah, the whole pie plate, only the very center of the pie plate is even touching the burner. And all the way around the sides, it's not even touching. So the, the burner's still off. And now I'm getting a temperature in the center of the PCB. Why is it fluctuating so much? At 120. A moment ago I saw 145. Okay, I'm just I'm turning it back on. And I'm just going to keep the heat on until I see solder start melting. Because this is taking too long. All right, 120, 133. Hmm. The burner just turned itself off, so I turned the heating setting up even a little more. So right now it's set to kind of halfway between low and medium, which actually is pretty darn hot for soldering. Okay, the solder still has not melted. Um, I see 140 on the left, kind of like 120 or something maybe in the middle. And 40-ish on the right. Boy, the, okay, this thing is so not flat, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, solder still has not melted. Come on, solder. Melt. 137, 160. 167. 145. 150. 
148. Still, I can see the solder still has not melted. Oh my god. I'm gonna grow old by the time this thing is does anything. One thing I'm a little worried about is that because the pie plate is not flat and the board is not flat on it, that when the chips do solder does melt, the chips are gonna start sliding around a little because they're not flat. So this may be fun. This is gonna take forever. One gosh, I don't know. Should I turn the heat up even more? I think there's just not enough contact area between the plate and the board. Oh my gosh. 163. Falling asleep here. 151. Come on. Hurry up. trying to flatten the pie plate. This is going to be a disaster and I'm going to burn myself right now. Watch this. Whee! Okay, that the whole pie plate just like popped inside out or something. I don't even know what just happened. I probably just totally messed up everything. Oh, okay. Solder starting to melt. What do we got for temperatures? I don't know. It's a 78 degrees C, but the solder is melting. So I don't know how that can possibly be right. Okay, the solder is melting. The right hand side, the solder has all melted now. Nothing is melting on the left. Um, nothing is melting on the left. Uh, yeah, the right hand side solder is all melted on both sides of the chip and the alignment looks good. But there are a million bridges, uh, and I'm still not getting any melting on the left, so I'm going to push the thing down to make better contact. Uh, push down the left-hand side of the board to make better contact with the plate. Try to raise its temperature. Something's smoking. Okay. Uh, we're starting to get melting of the left-hand chip now. Giant solder balls everywhere. Solder bridges, rather. Alignment looks okay. Something smells bad. Temperature. Something is burning. Okay. This is bad. Turn off the heat.